Caroline, and she is our all-weather stable star. She's a remarkable filly. She weighs over 500 kilos, and she's bred to be a two-miler, yet last time out she ran over six furlongs in a listed race. She's got a most fantastic attitude, loves racing, and she's pretty versatile, especially on the all-weather, where you get away with running over further than maybe she might get. The programme for fillies on the all-weather over the winter is very good, and there's a huge amount of prize money up for grabs. She won short of 60 grand last winter, and I'm really looking forward to a good winter with her and hopefully winning plenty more prize money. This is Prince of Arran. Um, he's the highest rated horse in the yard. Uh, he's rated 104. He was rated 107 after the Cigaro. He, um, he finished second at Ascot in the Cigaro Stakes with a Group 3. He then went to the Gold Cup, ran a huge race in the Gold Cup before running down the field in the Goodwood Cup and the Doncaster Cup. He's got loads of talent, but he's also got his quirks, and he's now going to be prepared to go out to Dubai uh, in January, where hopefully he'll run three times before heading there for World Cup night. Jam won four races in a row, starting at Haydock on bottomless ground. He then went to Kempton, then headed to Leicester before finishing the runoff at Yarmouth. He is a big, late maturing horse and um, he's just taken a very long time to come to hand and strengthen up. He was, has always been very good looking. He was bought for a lot of money as a yearling, so it's not su no surprise that he's developed into a very nice type. I think that there's more winning in the tank and um, he seems to like the all-weather so we'll carry on for the moment. He's still very lightly raced but he's a nice horse and uh, I'm looking forward to a winter with him. This is Captain Navar. He came to me halfway through the year. He'd had an injury and he ran first time out over a mile and a half at Leicester where he had a nice comeback run. He then went to York over two miles. He never really picked up the bridle until uh, the race was all over and then he ran on strong at the end. I decided to put a visor on him back at home and it made a huge amount of difference. There is a two mile race at Wolverhampton at the beginning of December and the plan will be to send him there um, and hopefully he can really start to climb the ladder um, in the stayers ranks and if we're good enough go to the all-weather championship finals at the end of the year. This is Spun Gold. He shows a lot more at home than he has done on the track. I don't feel like I've got him right yet. He ran really well first time out on the turf at Lingfield over seven furlongs. We then stepped him up to a mile. He's had a bit of an easy time since and we'll find a race for him in the next couple of weeks probably put some headgear on him and we'd probably think about dropping back to seven furlongs again and I do have faith that we're going to get the best out of him um, and he should definitely be one to follow through the next few months. This is the Bear Fighter, um, not a name that's familiar to many of you, he's never run before uh, but he's a big colt by Society Rock. This fella is a big backward horse, he's taken a lot of time to come to hand, but over the last month he's really started to blossom and develop. I'd say he's very unlikely to be winning first time out, but he'll run a few times on the all-weather over the winter, and I really hope that he'll be winning at some point. He's got a lovely attitude and could make into a really nice three-year-old next year. If you're thinking of backing him, please make sure you check Oddschecker first. <laughs>